Hey guys, welcome back to another great tutorial by Pixflow. In this video tutorial, we will create a cool project with the Cyberpunk and Shitty Packs motion elements in After Effects. So let's begin. The first thing I do is import my footage into After Effects. and then drag and drop it onto my project comp. This way, I have created a new comp with the exact frame rate and size. Now I want to add some cyberpunk elements onto the wheels and the body of the car. And the best way is to use the 3D camera tracker to identify and show me the track spots to add the items onto the car. Okay, I will open the trackers panel and select track camera. And as you can see in my effects control panel, the 3D camera tracker has opened and will start analyzing. After the analyzing process is completed, you can see the track spots of the footage. Okay, now I will select the track spots I want and right click and choose create solid and camera. Then, for the other parts of the car, I will select them, right click and only choose create solid. This process goes the same for the other wheel and the body. Great! Now I will rename the track solid layers to identify them easier. You can simply hit enter on the keyboard and rename them as shown here. Now let's add the Cyberpunk HUD elements from the Motion Factory extension. From the Loadings category, I will choose the item that fits best with my footage. Um, this item looks great. I will therefore double click on it and it will appear in my project panel. Now I will click on the items comp and also as the solid layer is selected too, I will hit alt on the keyboard or option key on Mac and drag and drop the item and replace it with the solid layer. Then I can change its scale by hitting the S key on the keyboard. I can also transform its orientation or rotation to adjust it to look better on my footage. Now let's move on to the other wheel. Select its solid layer, choose the item I want, double click on it and as shown before and replace it with the solid layer. I will transform and adjust it a bit. For the car's body, I will choose an item that will look good and place it on the car as shown in the previous methods. Now let's add reflections to make the items more realistic. There are many ways to create a reflection. You can either create a shape or duplicate the comp. Creating a shape gives you a faster preview, while duplicating the comp makes the effects more realistic, but instead gives you a slower preview and render. In this video, I have chosen the second way. 
Okay, now I will select the comps and duplicate them and change their colors to identify the reflection layers better. I will select one of the reflected layers and change its anchor point by hitting Y on the keyboard or selecting the anchor point tool. I will place the anchor point on the area it connects to the ground and then I will hit S on the keyboard and reflect it by placing a minus on its Y axis. Now I will adjust it a bit. The exact process goes for the other wheel and the body of the car. In this step, I want to create a new comp for my reflected layers. To do so, I will right click on this empty space in my main comp and choose Reveal Composition in Project. Then I will duplicate that project and rename it to Reflection. I will now open the Reflection comp and delete all the layers except for the reflection layers. Then drag and drop the reflection comp into my main comp and delete the other reflection layers. Remember to place the reflection comp above the footage. Okay, I will duplicate the footage and place it above the reflection comp. And in the effects and presets panel, I will choose the tint effect to make my footage grayscale. In the effects and presets panel, I will select the levels effect and play with the levels until the ground's texture is more recognizable. Then I will change the reflection comps track mat to luma mat. As you can see, the ground texture affects my reflection and makes it more realistic. In the next step, I will open the reflection comp, select one of the reflection layers and double click on the rectangle tool and create a mask for the selected layer. I'll move the mask a bit and give it feather and repeat the same steps for the other two layers. I'll return to the main comp and in the effects and presets panel choose fast box blur and give my reflection comp a slight blur effect. Much better. Let's add some light to the project. I will duplicate my main comp, rename it to light, open it and delete all the layers except for the items on the car and after that drag and drop it into my main comp. In the effects and presets panel I will choose fast box blur and add some blur effect this time for the light comp and change its mode to screen and adjust it. It's time to add some shadows to the project. I'll right click and choose new, solid. Then rename it to shadow and place it above my footage.
Next, I will give it an adjustment layer. And in the effects and presets panel, choose CC vignette and change its amount. This way, there is more focus on the car. I will also give it a curve effect and adjust its colors. You can simply edit the colors in the channel option of the curve effect. In the final step, I want to add light to the ceiling. Select the main footage layer for the track points to appear and right click and choose create solid and camera. Next, I will replace the light comp with the solid layer as shown before. I will resize and change its position and in the effects and presets panel I will choose fast box blur and give it a blur effect to match it with my project. A great tip is to use shape layers instead of duplicating our comps. This way our final project is lighter and renders faster. Now I will edit my project a bit and that's it. Let's see the final result. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can get this awesome pack by just clicking on the link below. And as always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to us and hit the notification bell for more videos and tutorials.